Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at the chords for Love Me Tender by Elvis Presley. So obviously one of the greatest love songs of all time. Uh, but it's got a lot of chords in there. Um, but the great thing is as soon as you learn this, I played the full progression there. Um, it just happens three times in the song. It just repeats that all over again. It's the exact same thing both times. So uh, all three times. So it's uh, as soon as you get this initial chord progression down, even though it's pretty long, it has some really uh, cool chords in it. Um, uh, you'll have the whole song down. All right. So we're in standard tuning here. So let's get to work here. We're going to start by taking a look at this picking pattern. It's a very easy strumming pattern. Uh, let's just grab a D major chord here. Now what you're going to do is this. You're usually going to hit the root note of the chord. So in this case, that's this open D string. So you just pick that by itself, and then you strum, just kind of lazily strum, almost arpeggiate the chord. Instead of a big strum, just let your, the pick glide across the string. Then pick the open A string, and then strum the chord again. Nice and easy. All it requires is downstrokes. You don't need any upstrokes. All right, now let's go to this next chord here. We're gonna take that same kind of style of picking and play it on an E dominant seven chord. So you're gonna play that chord by grabbing an E major chord, and then adding your little finger at the third fret on the B string. So it might be a little bit of a stretch. Now, we're gonna hit the root note first here, which is the open E, and then do the strum. And then the second bass note we're gonna hit is gonna be the fifth string there. You're holding the second fret there. And then, Strum that again. So the first two chords are this. All right, you can let everything just ring out. Now I'm gonna to go to an A dominant seven chord. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically just like an A major chord, but the G string is open. So all you have to play is second fret on the D, and then the second fret there on the B. So it's five strings, you're going to start with the open A, and then the next bass note you're going to hit is going to be the uh, D string, and then strong so we have this. Now this chord is the only one that uh, they'll mix it up a little bit. Sometimes they do the low note, and then the D string. Sometimes they'll just do the open A each time. So do whatever one you think it's pretty random throughout the song which one they choose. And then we're back to that D chord, which is going to be the open D, strong, open A strong. So far we have this. Now you repeat that. way done but now the chords start to get more interesting you're gonna start here with the D chord let's just go through the D the chords real quick there's a D and then it's gonna have an F sharp major chord with C sharp in the bass so you don't need the full bar just play the bar across the first two strings of the first fret I mean I'm sorry the second fret there then the third fret here on the G fourth fret on the D and the fifth fret on the A 
then a B minor chord, which is a bar at the second fret there, with, uh, and then you're gonna be playing the third fret on the B, fourth on the G, and the D. So it's that. Then we're gonna go to a D7 chord with A in the bass. So what you're gonna do here is the second fret on the high E, first fret on the B, second fret on the G, and then the A and the D strings will be open. So we have it. All right. Now we're gonna continue here, go to a G major bar chord. So if you know just the standard F major bar chord, you probably know. If not, it's a full bar here. Uh, I'll, I'll do the G here. We're going to be up at the third fret, full bar, fourth fret on the G, fifth fret on the D and the A. And then we're going to go to this really cool chord, G minor six chord. Now, it might be kind of new to you here, so we're going to bar with our our third finger here, our ring finger, across the first three strings on the third fret. So get that down. Then the second fret on the D string. Now let that finger just slightly go over that string and mute that A string. So you can't, so when you strum across, you can't hear that A. And then just add the third fret here on the low E. So you have that A muted. Everything else is being heard, so we have this. And then to a D. So the picking of that maneuver is this. So throughout that entire sequence, you're only hitting the root note once the bottom note of the chord, then strum in the chord, and then play the next chord, and do the same thing. Now when you get to this D here, you do the full picking pattern there. All right, and now we have another quick little chord change, and we're pretty much done. We have. So that's the that's that for my darling part. All right, so that's this the D. Now I like to just basically hit just the open D, the second fret on the G, third fret on the uh, B string. Just hit those three, kind of a power chord, and then and come up and quickly grab this. It's just really a passing chord. It's that same bar here we're going to be playing at now at the 5th fret with your uh, ring finger across the top 3 strings and add the uh, F sharp here which is the 4th fret on the D. Just strum those 4 strings and then we're going to play a B dominant 7 chord. So that is a bar at the 2nd fret followed by the 4th fret on the D. So we've got that G uh, string second fret there being played by the bar, and then the fourth fret on the uh, B string. So when you get that B7, then you do the picking pattern. Just a root note strong, and then take it to the E7 chord we did earlier. Full picking pattern there. And then this is just like in the first half of this to that A7 and D. All right, so let me play the whole second half of it when the chords are really moving around. I'll do it real slow.
All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.